They're smiling down on the dairy farm tonight. Milk is profitable and business is expanding. Good evening. I'm George Mallet. And I'm Stephanie Gorin. For years, local dairy farmers have struggled to make ends meet. Tonight, though, the USDA believes dairy farms will see increasing profits at a time when farmers in general are losing money. And that means good things for Vermont's dairy industry. WPTV's Bridget Shanahan is just back from Addison County Field Days where she spoke to dairy farmers. She's live in the newsroom with this Money Beat report. Hi, Bridget. Hey, Steph. So as a consumer, you've probably noticed milk is costing you more money as well as other dairy products. And sometimes when we see those increased prices at the store, it means farmers are struggling to make a profit because of a drought or high feed costs. But that's not the case this time, and it means those family dairy farms are able to provide for more. This isn't just any county fair. The Addison County Field Days is more than just rides and games. It's Vermont's largest agricultural fair. Best honor in the class. Tucked in the back corner outside the buzz of the carnival rides, you'll find the dairy cow. My grandfather started the farm in the 50s. Uh, my dad... And then us. Stephanie Pope is a third generation dairy farmer. She recently quit her job in the professional world to get back to her parents' farm. It's a great place to have a family. And it's also profitable. According to Vermont's Agency of Agriculture, in 2009, dairy farmers were getting about a dollar per gallon for their milk. Now they're pulling in a little over two dollars a gallon. It's the highest prices ever recorded in Vermont. Right now it's an exciting time to be a dairy farmer. Um, milk prices are good. Um, we're actually making money. According to the USDA, overall farm incomes are supposed to decrease in 2014, except for dairy farms are actually supposed to increase by 28%. There's a couple of reasons for that. One is that milk prices are actually going up, and two is that feed prices are going down. If we weren't, didn't have good milk prices, that wouldn't have been a very, it wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Stephanie's sister Nicole says the record milk prices are behind her new cheese business, Bridport Creamery, allowing her parents a little extra capital to help her, and eventually she'll be able to help them. I'm self sufficient now. I can pay my mortgage, and so I now I make my own income, and I will pay the farm. And invest in future generations. It's really hard to go to work every day knowing that it's not a good day because you're going to lose money. So nobody wants to feel that way. The sisters say the field days is something fun that they can do to get away from all that hard work on the farm. And their cows have already earned them three blue ribbons, and there's still time to get more. The Addison County Field Days runs through Saturday. Bridget Shanahan, WPTZ, News Channel 5.